begin with Courtney Hengler. Courtney has been an actress for longer than some of you have been alive, but her most recent role in Cobra Kai has cast her in a much different light than many of us could imagine. Don't get me wrong, her previous roles were all incredible in their own way, but her role in Cobra Kai has set a new standard for her career and, in many ways, reignited her passion for acting. If you've seen every season of Cobra Kai, you may think you know everything there is to know about Miss LaRusso, but let's learn more about Courtney Hengler, the beautiful woman who brings Mrs. LaRusso to life on television. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. One of those lessons how to jump a bunch of kids and break one of their arms? Because that's what your students did tonight. Courtney Hengler was born in 1978, making her just 42 years old at the time of making this video. She's been an actress since 2003, but she's been interested in becoming an actor since she was a little girl. She was born and raised in New Jersey, but she took her first set of acting lessons after she had moved across the country to Los Angeles. She says her childhood best friend is the one who helped her get into acting after encouraging her to audition for a role in ninth grade theater. However, she wouldn't land her first official role in a movie until 2003. She starred in a B-movie known as The Bog Creatures back in 2003. It doesn't seem like she really made much of an impact on this role, but it helped her dip her toes in the water to see what acting is all about. This way, the only role she had landed for quite some time until she managed to find a pretty significant role in House, one of the most popular television shows in the early 2000s. After starring in House, her career didn't take off as quickly as she had planned. In fact, it would be another three years before she'd land another role. However, she found major success once again in 2008 when she was cast in The Big Bang Theory, taking on the role of Sheldon Cooper's sister from Texas. Hi Leonard, what's up? Well, since you're leaving tomorrow, I was wondering if you'd like to go to dinner with me. It's so sweet. The two were polar opposites, and it really cast Sheldon's character in an entirely new light. Sadly, Courtney only appears in three episodes, one in 2008, one in 2013, and another in 2018. However, it seemed like the Big Bang Theory gave her career the boost it needed to land a few more roles as the years ticked by. By 2008, she managed to get a role in the hit series Criminal Minds. She also played a part in NCIS a couple of years later when the show was in its prime. After this, she landed several more roles, including television shows like Working Class, Happy Endings, Melissa and Joey, Mom, Royal Pains, Bones, Jane the Virgin, and even Fuller House. By 2017, Courtney admitted that she felt as though her career might have been coming to an end. However, after auditioning for Cobra Kai, she got the call that she landed the role in the series. She wasn't too sure how things would turn out at that time, considering the show was being run by YouTube Red. However, she was optimistic that this role would help take her career to the next level and continue to give her a way to pay the bills. I just don't think embarrassing Sam in front of her friends is helping matters. I don't like these new friends. It's not like Samantha. She may have been right for a short time, but once YouTube Red came to an end and Cobra Kai had been cancelled, Courtney was once again left without work and had no future jobs lined up to keep her in the business. However, when she got the call that Netflix had purchased rights to the series and planned on picking up where YouTube left off, her career was completely revitalized and, once again, she felt happy to call Los Angeles her home. No, babe, I'm talking about our billboard. Why? What happened to our billboard? She spoke about how surprised she was to learn about how popular Cobra Kai was becoming. She spoke with brief take in an interview and said, It's incredible how much success the show is having. I remember our first table read and hearing Billy and Zolo do their first scene. I couldn't stop laughing, they were both so perfect. I came and told my husband, I'm not sure how the rest of the world will feel about this show, but I think it's freaking hilarious. That being said, I don't think I was prepared for the reaction it is garnering. It's amazing. All we want is crease to be gone. Then you can rent out the space to another tenant. From this moment on, Courtney was super excited to continue act and helping create the show. She wasn't sure where the series would ultimately take her, but she knew that the show was the perfect mix of comedy and action and was more than willing to stick around and enjoy the ride. This would be the first big role for Courtney that saw her playing a more aged character, such as a mother. Take photos of. This is for the insurance adjuster. Just figure instead of waiting for her to come all the way out. She said, I played mothers before, but never as an actual mother. That alone changed the game for me. I instinctively felt very protective of Griffin and Mary, and the love Ralph has for his real-life family is so evident that I don't think we can bring anything but a loving LaRusso dynamic. 
It's safe to say that this role pulled her out of her comfort zone just a little bit, but I think Courtney was pretty much ready for anything. After all, her career had been seeing a downward spiral for several years leading up to Cobra Kai, so I'm sure she was ready to grab a hold of whatever she could and find out where this new path in life may take her. Sorry, I got so upset with you for training the other kids. I didn't realize what you were dealing with. Courtney says that it was super strange to now be surrounded by huge actors like William Zabka and Ralph Macchio. She was stoked to be working alongside them, but she says the first few table reads and the first few episodes were a bit difficult to film because she was so starstruck by Ralph Maggio. She said, He was at my screen test, and that part was maybe the most surreal because I was like, so taken off guard, and I was nervous enough because I was testing for the show. And then I was like, what are you doing here? What? But at the test, he was so lovely and so warm and so nice. He was so easy to laugh with, and so when I booked it, I was just like, this is gonna be great, he's so great. And then I got on set and I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Hey, Robbie, what's going on? Hey, Mrs. L. I'm just here to train with Mr. LaRusso. You know, back? Uh, no. When speaking with Daily Actor, Courtney finally opened up about her troubled career and admitted that she only accepted an audition for Cobra Kai because it was the only way her children could continue to get health insurance. She said, at the time that I got the audition, I was quitting acting. I just had my baby and I was like, I don't even know if I even want to go back. I've been doing this for so long and I just feel like I was just doing my lateral moves. You know, I was just over it. I was like, uh, uh, I was writing, I was pitching shows, so I was like, I'm just done. And then my husband was like, we get our health insurance through your acting, can you just hang in there a little longer until we figure out a plan B? I was like, okay. It was so far up there I could see out my mouth. <laughs> Wait, did that make sense or was that the wine talking? And then like a week later, I got this audition for Karate Kid and I remember being like, this is ridiculous, they're remaking the Karate Kid? Why aren't they thinking of original things? I was all absurd and ridiculous about it and then I read it and I was like, oh, oh, this is great, this is gonna be great. And then of course I auditioned for it, but I was just thinking, this is just very weird. I had no business being part of such a huge production, the fans are so dedicated, I don't know, they just know so much about the Karate Kid. I felt out of place and I don't belong with these idols of mine. For your information, he is taking me out to dinner and dancing. Fun. It's pretty clear to see that Courtney is incredibly grateful for her time with the series, even if she does feel a bit out of place. But I've got to admit, Amanda LaRusso is one of the greatest actors in the series and Courtney puts on such a believable and compelling performance. I can't imagine Cobra Kai continuing without her. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.